pork loins, pork and my cousin's loin claw, fighting a battle on Hall. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Night. <laughs> first first star I see tonight. <laughs> Man, I think I might pork my cousin. <laughs> What are you doing? Well, hey guys, the elevator right. does work. What's up guys, welcome back or, to the video. Hey, welcome back! Oh, fuck, that shit damn near blew out my knee. We're here with a different crowd today. The OGs know them. Uh, Luis? What's up, man? Luis, look at the camera, man. Look at the camera. What's up, man? Nice to have you back in the video. Hey, brother. We're tracked. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit. oh my god! Oh, my god. <laughs> Chase, you've been in the videos before. Long time, and then Connor. But that's my brother. This is my brother, guys. He's in the videos. Right into a sports bar and grill, watch the NCAA tournament, and then uh, go do some sightseeing, some tourist stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and a Wizards game. And a Wizards game. So, all right, let's go. Chinatown. The sports bar action. Watching some March Madness. Never thought we'd be in DC watching some March Madness. Super random. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I never rode one of these before. Oh, we're supposed to ride on the street? Yeah, there's a sign. Oh, fuck. This, we're going to crash. We might die. I've never rode one of these before. Sponsor our slime. Sponsor us. This is how all the, this is how Isaac used to be. You ready? Yo! What's up, YouTube? Back here with another video. Basketball. I'm about to go to the Wizards yeah. game, the worst team in the NBA. Guys up and fuck. Listen, they, no, they, I said, I said we needed scooters. They, uh, Luis, go back to Luis, the clip where we Luis, were literally on scooters for exactly an hour. Well, anyways, guys. So last time I was home during Christmas. Shout out to a picture of Big Cream. If you just, just bullshit, man. This guy's hammered. When I was home on Christmas, if you guys watch back on some of the old videos, we went to a Bulls game super randomly, and Luis was begging us to go to a game for the longest time, and then we ended up just going without. What's him, up, so. man? What are you guys doing after that? Uh, we're going to a Bulls game. <laughs> yeah. oh, we're not joking, it's 50 bucks for a cast game. Ron Glizzy. Are you actually? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, had to make it up to him, so instead we're just going to the worst team in the NBA. Home game in DC. $60 lower level tickets, you kidding me? So we're gonna go watch the worst team in the NBA play against another one of the worst teams in the NBA. But we're gonna get hammered in the process too, so it's Hammered. Alright, you ready? Check out the transition. Money, I'ma take the same thing. No, get up on my face, home. Why you wanna stay? No, name a place I can't go. I can't believe the line is this long to get into a Wizards game, honestly. Hey, can I interview you guys for YouTube? All right, guys, my first interview where I'm a slightly sauced, a little bit hammered. Uh, what's up, man? What's your name? Uh, Ray. You can call me Ray. Ray? Yeah. Ray, what's up, man? I love the I love the cut, dude. Uh, what was your hoodie? Your hoodie's nice, bro. Uh, I got it randomly like three years ago. I don't even know what it says. I never read it, bro. <laughs> yeah, let me see, let me see the, turn around. Let me see the back. Fire. Hey, tell me what the back says. What does the back say? The back, uh, it says nothing. His hoodie's dope, but my hoodie's doper. Make sure to buy your merch. Yeah, it's, 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 I don't know. I don't know what to say. This is a super random. Why are you at the Wizards game today? Randomly, my friends are like, "Hey, you want to go to a Wizards game?" And I was like, "Yeah, there's twenty five dollars, bro." It's exactly. Yeah. Same with us. Same with us. What happened to the foot? Uh, oh yeah. Oh, oh 
Oh, I didn't even look. All right, I was playing basketball. Uh, Hooper, dude, Hooper. And this dude, um, I had to like get him off the court. I didn't get him out because he was on the hot streak, right? So I faked an injury, and now I have to commit to like the bit, and I'm oh, just faking okay. a boot, you know? Dude, honestly, W man's. What is your team? Are you a Wizards fan? No, I think they're awful. I'm going with the Raptors. I literally have a, I have a bet right now going with him for ten dollars that he says Wizards, I say Raptors. I think the Raptors yeah. cook, even with like the injuries they have right now. Well, hey Jay. I'm Ray, sorry. Yeah, Ray. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. My boy's my name, boy name is Jay. Shout out to Jay. Uh, Ray, nice to meet you, brother. Nice Appreciate you, man. it, man. Enjoy the game, man. Yeah, Enjoy the game. Oh, key? Okay. Okay. Fucking wizard shape? Way better than I thought. Hey, 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 hey. Hell of a to get in here, bro. Wait, we're here. I just bought a, a beer for me and Louise. $34 for two beers. 34 fucking money. 21 what are you doing, man? Come on, throw up. <laughs> we got it, baby! Let's go! We got it! I've tried for years! For years! We made it! We fucking made it! Jordan Poole dropping 37. I saw four. 10 out of 10. Same four side. It's just game over. It's not focusing! It didn't focus! Four. Two times in one night. Oh, Two times in one night. <laughs> <laughs> Little buzzer beater action, eh? Little buzzer beater action. Kyle Kuzma. Hey! I called it, baby. Another beer. Hey, by the way, this guy bought a one hundred and fifty dollar Jordan Pool jersey. Isaac, hey, uh, yeah, that's not that's not gonna work. Um, so yeah, this uh, part two turned out to be extremely bad and incredibly boring. I mean, listen to this. Audio is done. If you don't know, audio is basically they they check your hearing. Who wants to listen to that? Nobody. Also, there was no Jay in this part of the video. And you guys seem to really love Jay, so I scratched this entire part of the vlog and just did another part two. So here you go. Boom. Okay, guys, welcome back to the video. Part two, the actual part two. We'll see. Maybe. Well, hey, we're back in the mirror. It's a staple. You guys called me out last time for not using this segment, the mirror segment. So. I to make sure I do that on this part. We're back to part two, an actual day. We're not in Washington, D.C. anymore. Yeah, guys, just the best in the DOD of what we do. But honestly, like, that's not the goal. The goal is to be the best in the world. Quick announcement, if you guys have not already subscribed to the Patreon, make sure to do that. The third part to this video will be dropped on Patreon. But... Here's the catch. There's two ways to subscribe to the Patreon. You can subscribe as a free member, or you can subscribe as a paid member. I recommend subscribing as a paid member because you get a ton of benefits. Our Discord chat is awesome, exclusive content throughout the week. But if you subscribe as a free member, you will still be able to watch part three of this video on the Patreon. It's gonna be for paid members and free members of the Patreon. So all you have to do is go subscribe. It's completely free and you can watch part three. Without further ado, it's almost gym time. Jay's on his way to get me. Um, I'm gonna run to the car real quick and uh, yeah, show you guys what's up. So for those of you guys that are not tracking, this is the Mercury Milan. I've had it since I was 16, it was my first car. It's still running to this day, it's an absolute trooper. The coolest part about this car is the amount of stuff that it's been through, YouTube wise. And the OGs to the channel, which are probably a couple of you, I'm talking the OGs, OGs that have been around since shit, I was in like high school. They'll know all about this car. This car's been through some legendary shit. I'm gonna go ahead and flash a little tribute for the, for the Mercury Milan because it's that legendary, it deserves a tribute.
everything from 100,000 Orbeez, mattress surfing, to all the other shenanigans we did in this thing. Um, but yeah, that's what Luis, Connor, and Jace were doing. They drove my car all the way down to DC, which I'm surprised it made it, but it did. Like I said, it's a trooper. But yeah, guys, nonetheless, Joyner's about to pick me up. Uh, he should be coming around the corner any second now. <laughs> So Jay, how, how's your uh, how, how's your week been? Yeah, I also like I kind of love having like my feet so oh, yeah, it's kind of like okay, that's okay. kind of like. But is we getting more tactically proficient? Eh? What can I say? Just you know, refining the craft day in day out. Mm -hmm. Part of being a good infantryman. Yeah. At the end of the day, because the budget in the one. Guys, this is my fourth shaker bottle <laughs> in two weeks. <laughs> Let's go. What the fuck, bro? What? Dude. Like, I don't, that's not like funny, dude. No, I'm just, that's not like, dude. Motivation. Keep with the camera down. That's. Motivation. Fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, no, for sure. Pork loins, pork in my cousin's loin claw. Fighting the battle on Hall of Star Wars, Star Wars. I think I might pork my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> PhD in bullshit. Only nothing. Literally Just nothing. nothing. We're back at B-dubs. We have a problem. Oh, uh, so we folded. Uh, we gave you the temptation. This is the second time I've been to B-dubs during the working week. The second time um, in five days. We're about to drop a slight 30 bucks. Yeah, uh, just you know. On 15 wings and a thing of fries. So. The thing is, those 15 wings and a thing of fries is going to be fantastic. Uh, as well as our ranch being amazing. You just spit all over. I mean, I'm so happy right now. Yeah. It literally makes me incredibly happy being here. <laughs> it's insane how happy I get to be here. Fondue, fondue. Don't mind if I do. Alright, we'll see you in the truck. Alright guys, uh say bye to Jay. Play your chat. You'll Play see him in part chat. you'll see him in part three, but <laughs> There it is. There it is. There it is again. There it is again. There hypothetically it is. Hey, you took my shit off! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I'm tired guys, I'm super fucking tired. Been so busy guys, been so busy. Merch drop is on the way, samples are ordered. Patreon has been awesome, the Discord server's been sick. Content wise, been grinding. I've been waking up at 5.30 a.m. every fucking day, which just blows, but it is what it is. Without further ado guys, I posted on my Instagram another uh, q and A. You guys went absolutely ham, I got all kinds of questions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scroll through for you guys. Literally hundreds of questions. Uh, here we go. What's your favorite pizza from Casey's? Breakfast pizza, Midwest people, you know. Is Isaac Tuffer going to get married? I hope so. Curse Gabriel asked, how many guys have kissed you and did you love that shit? I, I, I feel like a lot of dudes have kissed me. I haven't kissed them back though. Um, you know, it's just what happens in the Marine Corps, you know? Boys are gonna be boys. Why the infantry? Because honestly, I just, I thought I saw no other option when joining other than the infantry. That's the people you see in the movies and on TV. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I gotta go infantry. So here I am. If you didn't go infantry, what was your second choice? I would have been MSG probably. I liked what MSG sounded like. And that was originally my first choice, but then I was like, oh, infantry, you know, shit. Worst and best thing in the Marines. Worst thing, the bullshit that you put up with, not being treated like an adult, even when you're, you know, I would say an adult. Best thing is the brotherhood, the boys, for sure. That's 100% the best thing. What's one thing you wish you knew before you joined the Corps? The recruiter will say that a lot of your stuff gets paid for, not the case. You still pay for the shower hall, technically. All of your uniforms come out of your bank account, and while you're in boot camp, all the items that you get, like gear-wise, uniforms, it all comes out of your bank account. You get a uniform allowance every year, but it's barely anything. So honestly, yeah, that's that's my biggest thing. I wish I would've known that a little bit more. Not that it would've changed my mind, but it would've been nice to know. Best MRE. This is tough. Southwest beef and black beans. Underrated choice, that's my favorite. I think it's the best tasting, got good sides. I think a close second for me is meatballs and marinara sauce. It's got a ton of stuff in there. I'm a big guy, I like to eat in the field. I want as much food as possible and meatballs and marinara sauce has a ton of them. Hey, next video we'll do an MRE eating challenge. I don't want to, but we will for you guys. Would you try out for recon? And should I go after ITB or try out when I'm in the fleet? Right now I wouldn't try out for recon. I actually did the recon screener when I was in IMC. I failed, I wasn't very good at swimming then. But honestly, for you, try going out of IMC. 
C. Don't wait. I know people in the fleet that try to get recon packages and they can't get them because their command doesn't approve them. So while you have the volunteer opportunity, take it. What's been the best part of your career? Put me in the vid. Honestly, after deployment, being back with all the boys in Camp Pendleton, and then boat package, where I got this shirt from right here, boat package was a fucking awesome time. Uh, if you ever get a chance to be a boat company in the infantry, definitely do it. Coxon course, great course. The people who drive the boats. No, I'm not Marsock. I know they probably stole the logo, I don't know, but I got the shirt, so I'm gonna wear it, okay? What is it like to be in the Marines? Would you say anyone could do it? I wouldn't say anyone could do it, but I think that a large majority of people can do it. It's a matter if you can put up with bullshit or not. Pretty much anyone can make it through boot camp as long as you don't quit. So if you have doubts you're not gonna make it through boot camp, if you're confident, if you're at least a little bit in shape and you're somewhat smart, you'll be just fine. What made you originally join the Marines? Bro, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I literally don't know. I just did it. I was in accounting class and I got up and went to the bathroom and called the recruiter and uh, Sergeant Thompson answered and then boom, I was at the recruiting office two days later. Any crazy port side stories on deployment? Plenty, my friend. I can't tell you about them in here. If you want to hear them, join the Discord through Patreon. I'll tell you guys some stories on the next call. Is every Marine a rifleman? Controversial. Um. Sure, I think everyone's a rifleman, but not everyone's an infantryman. That's what I have to say. Worst week of basic and best week. Worst week of basic was definitely the first week. I hated it. Best week, Marine week, baby. You're about to see your family. Come on now. What are you gonna do when you get out? Honestly, I don't have an exact plan. I'm a very sporadic individual, but my plan is to move to Florida off the rip with Luis and some other guys. Continue to do the content thing, maybe do some schooling, get into the real estate, and just do a bunch of awesome stuff. I'm really not scared of the civilian world or maybe going broke for a little bit. So I'm willing to take risks and I'm super excited to do that. Do you regret joining the military? Keep it 1000%, not a single bit at all. It has made me the person I am today and has made me grow a lot. Now do I hate my life almost every day? Yes, especially when I'm waking up at 5.30 in the morning, freezing my dick off in Bridgeport, freezing my dick off in the waters of the Pacific Ocean, or hating life on ship on deployment. But nonetheless, maybe who I am today, I'm super excited just for what the future has in store. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much the end of, of part two. But yeah, let's send it to tomorrow real quick. My camera's about to die. Hey guys, it's the nice day. Thursday, just got back from another pistol range. Eating my overnight oats, or like I said, another video. Breaking news, the rest of this video is gonna be on Patreon. Well, technically, a new video is gonna be on Patreon, but part three, like I said, is completely free, so make sure to go check it out on there. This video's kind of all over the place, I'm sorry guys, it's how it's gonna be sometimes. I'm still getting the flow out here. I don't know as many people here as I did in Pendleton, but interviews will come back, more barracks tours will come, more of the regular stuff. So, without further ado, go to the description, go to the link in the description and in the comments, click on the Patreon, and go watch part three, because it's free, you just gotta subscribe. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna eat. Uh, bye. Bye. Bye.